This is the Berg, and there's an absolute cult following around this thing in the game of disc golf, and I think I understand why. You see, people look for certain things when they look for approach discs. Like some people like to look for an overstable approach disc, like a zone, a harp, or a pig, for instance. You can trust them on forehands, backhands, you know exactly what they're gonna do. They're gonna go straight and finish hard. And it's really hard to overthrow your target with those. But other people might like something that just sticks to the ground and won't go much further once it lands. Like, so let's say the Nova or just a super gummy um, approach disc. And then others like a disc that just gets effortless distance and they can just get it there without trying too hard. Let's say something like a Luna or a Pure, for example. Or you might even have just that really beat up old putter that you can just work and hyzer flip on any line and you just love it. You can do anything with it. Like I have an old, a really old beat up Luna that is just amazing for that stuff. But this brings something completely different to the table. You see the Berg is unique, both in feel and flight. When you first take a hold of it, it's got that normal lid shape, but it also has just, it's concaved in the middle, giving it a nice little thumb track. So when you grab it, it, it kind of feels like a lid, but it also doesn't really. It feels kind of more like a normal disc, like something you can get comfortable with in your hand. So it's weird that it feels kind of like a lid type disc, but at the same time, it doesn't feel like that. But it's also, because of that thumb track, it feels actually pretty good for forehands too. Your thumb kind of locks it in place right there, and you can just give it a pretty good go on forehand approaches. And the plastic actually feels pretty good. The I have an opaque one and a clear one. The opaque one feels like slightly grippier maybe, but they're both pretty grippy and they feel pretty dang close to each other. But if I had to nitpick, the opaque one is slightly more gummy and slightly more grippy. Now the flight is where this gets really interesting and honestly why this has such a great following around this disc. The numbers are 1102, and that is very accurate. It's a slow disc, and it does not want to glide. And the crazy thing is, is it doesn't want to turn at all either. It's very true to that zero rating. It's interesting because when you throw it hard and flat, it does not want to turn at all. And it, it almost has the torque resistance and high speed stability of something like a zone or a pig or a harp, but it has the fade of that normal standard, slightly overstable putter. So because of that on forehands, it can resist the torque from that forehand to be a pretty good approach disc on forehands. It's also a good approach disc on backhands, but this does not want to glide at all. And frankly, that's why people love it. It just drops out of the sky. There are multiple times where I was approaching where I got a really good rip on it and I'm just thinking that it would soar right past the target, but it didn't, it just stopped. It, it, it's so funny because like it, it flies fast out of your hand, but then all of a sudden it's just like, ah, I don't really like that, no. And then it just drops. Same with forehands too, it's, it's just, it's so weird and bizarre when you first throw it, but that's that's why people love it. It's one of those discs that it's not too overstable to give you the the hookup fade at the end. It's more workable, but it has that like just fall out of the sky glide so that you don't just overshoot your target. But because of that, because it has such a unique flight, it might not be for everyone's game. So if you're one of those people who likes throwing just those really glidey approaches or touchy approaches, you don't really like to put that much effort on your approaches, you wanna focus more on the angle and the release, then this might not be the disc for you. You might be better off with something that has a little bit more glide, like a Luna or a Pure or a Nova, uh, any of thing, anything like those discs. Or if you like just those really overstable approaches with a Zone or a Pig, this is not going to be that. This can fit another slot in that in your bag on both of those, but it's definitely for those that it's just straight and it's a slight overstable finish that just doesn't go 
much of anywhere. If you're one of those players who find yourself overshooting your target a lot, that you don't really like powering down and having a touch approach, then I would check this out if you haven't already because this is, this is pretty great. This allows you to throw like 70, 80% on your approaches and not really go that much further past the basket, if at all. Now, you're, you might not be putting with this. Um, Scott Stokely is a crazy man for, for putting with these, but this is just very reliable on those straight approaches not to go too far. But this is a, a really fun disc to throw. Like I always suggest just giving it a shot and giving it a try. Like it might not fit in your bag. It doesn't fit into my game. I'm more of like a touchy approach person than a really power approach person. But this is, I don't regret <laughs> buying it and throwing it because it's just a fun disc to have, even to just take on a few rounds. And it's surprisingly, like it, it feels a little weird when you get, get, when you first get it, but it's surprisingly pretty comfortable. But what do you think about the burger? Are you one of those people who think it's the greatest disc to bless this earth? Or are you just one of those that's just meh about it? Let's talk about it in the comments. But otherwise, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.